Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're taking a look at Hot Projects, some of the biggest games on the blockchain right now. We're going to take a look at some projects that we haven't seen before, some updates on old projects. We're obviously going to be doing Watch to Earn, so find out about that coming up in a bit. We have given away, these have all been sent now to the people who won in the past week. So congrats to those people. We gave away $1,200 in Watch to Earn. So across five, four, four different videos, we gave away $300 in each video. Congrats on that. If you don't know, we do that on every sponsored video. We give away a good percentage of that to the users uh, to appreciate because we appreciate your time and uh, just a little extra way of giving back, getting people involved in some of the games that we're playing as well if you can't afford it. Okay, let's get into today's episode. So first up, we go to our first sponsored video. It comes from Tales of Ragnarok. They were sponsoring the Watch to Earn content today. So if you want to have a chance to win one of five lots of 60 US dollars, go to the comment section, post anything you like, go to the Discord section where it's competition wallets, post your wallet address and your YouTube name for a chance to be one of the five selected winners for that. Right, Tales of Ragnarok, what is it? It's going to be challenged to earn in that it is going to be challenging and difficult. It's not going to be just play to earn. It's going to involve some strategy. So you can see a little sneak peek into what you can expect from it. It's going to be an NFT strategy game with play to earn rewards. Players will be able to take roles of the gods, empire and plan offensive and defensive strategies to fight against others. It's trying to match a similar kind of gameplay to Clash Royale. Um, in terms of that attack defense, there'll be over 100 gods. The goal is to destroy your enemy. So you are sending different heroes out. The other ones will have different advantages and, you know, weaknesses. You can see God coming into play there will probably have special effects. There's going to be ranking in there. The game will try to suit both types of players by having an auto battle mode and a real time battle mode. Auto battle is suitable for players who want a quick, easy match. When the game starts, God will battle in formation decided by the players and then start to fight along the route to destroy the enemy gods, towers and empire. Any skill card action will automatically be done in the game by the game's AI. Players can press to start the battle and skip to the end of the battle to see the result by spending a little tour. Real Town Battle Mode will be suitable for players who want to challenge and skill play. This gameplay is a bit like in Bottle to Battle Mode, but the user will be able to decide which skill card they want to use and when and how to manage their stamina. When the battle begins, players will be able to draw skill cards according to the gods in the team. Each skill card costs stamina depending on the god's level and class. Stamina will slowly restore over time. Why? To make every decision important and to make every bit of stamina count. What can we expect from that gameplay? There's going to be battle strategy, creating the best strategy using three gods on the battlefield grid position within the empire leverage god strength and weaknesses by position and battle route unique gods so gods from different mythologies over the world are gathered in tales of ragnarok you may see zeus from greek osiris from egypt nine tailed fox from japanese as god characters to help you fight in the ragnarok wars the ragnarverse is going to be their metaverse it's a group of tokenized empire lands these, these are going to be nfts which act as a base plot for an empire to build and find resources. More information on that will be coming soon. The Empire Battle, the Tale of Ragnarok, is a combination of strategy and card games. So it's basically to win other empires in battle, you have to fight against players, empires, or bots using planned strategy or god card skills. It's gonna be challenged, so it's designed to balance both ecosystem and benefit the players through diverse play to earn models. A unique god can be created by using a random combination with god parts, so head, upper body, low, low body. Players may get a god with Osiris head and Odin body, which will create over a million different unique variations for gods. Each god's rarity will be determined by the combination of those different body parts and their NFT equipment, and different gods will have different rarity score. The rarity score will have a negligible effect on the god's stats, and they will also lead to a higher reward in tour token that players can receive from battling. Freya, the unique strategy game with super creative gameplay. Now the tokenomics, there will be 1 billion tour in total and there are going to be some giveaways that we're going to talk about in a minute. Uh, the roadmap is as follows. Phase one is the idea phase, talent, team building, theme and art, conception, creation, pre-marketing. They've passed that now. They're going into phase two, gameplay and building art, informative website, white paper, game marketing, pre-sale whitelist, pre-sale 1.0, marketplace. Phase three will bring with it the private alpha testing, open beta testing, and the launch of Tales of Ragnarok online. Tour governance and more to come in the future. The team is fairly big, made up of people with experience in blockchain and the design aspect, as well as digital marketing. So covering most of the bases that you'd need to create a game like this and launch it on the blockchain. 
Next, let's take a look at how you can mint your very own avatar for free and get involved on the box airdrop. So this is one of 20,000 avatar mint that you can actually mint for free. Uh, you can download, copy the invite link if you want to invite other people. I got Tor 51,215. So claim your NFT. You can join the airdrop event as well after this. So there is going to be a 500 NFT box and 1 million Tor, which is going to be their, their currency giveaway through airdrops. Uh, if you completed all the tasks of the pre-registration event, you will have the chance to win. So you can click join the event. It'll take you to the Gleam competition, which is where you can start to complete some of the different actions. So I have cookies disabled, but now it should load up. So you put in your BSC address, copy and paste that into there, continue, and then it'll give you all the different actions. There's 50 entries that you can get from completing these individual entries. And that'll give you a chance to win one of 500 NFT boxes and 1 million tour. So there are gonna be 1,050 winners in total. Top one, the highest referrals will get 10,000 tour. Then it'll go 7,002 to 10, 11 to 20, 5,000, and then 12, 21 to 50 will get 3,000 tour. Then 500 lucky people at random will get awarded with 1,550 tour. The winners will be announced 23rd January. You have up until the 21st of January to get involved on this. NFT boxes will be distributed after the NFT box pre-sale and tokens will be distributed 9% after token generation one week and 91% linear for six months after that. Limited Genesis avatars will be claimable after profile feature is launched. In February, they will also have a whitelist sale for their individual boxes that you can get a chance to get even a gold box, a silver box or a normal box that will include NFTs. So gold boxes will have the highest chance to get a rare, epic and mystical god. No common gods in the gold boxes. You've got lesser rarity drops in the silver box and the most common, highest chance of common is gonna be obviously in the normal boxes. All the links for this game will be in the description below. Check them out. If you wanna get involved in getting your free avatar, go mint that now on the website and the link to the airdrop will be in the description below. Okay, let's move on to the next game. Next up, we can officially announce that we are in partnership with Metagear. I reached out to these guys after they reached out to me through a agency and said, right, let's do this long term because this is a project that I can get down with. I'm so excited for this. It's going to be huge. It just looks like so much fun. And, you know, it's such a good like 8-bit style. Very kind of similar to Bomb Crypto we said is it going to be. And I'm pegging it to be the next Bomb Crypto. And probably more so more exciting because it's got PvP and that's going to just, it's just going to open this game up to so much more possibilities. So if you want to get involved in this, you know, this is going to be launching on IDO in the next couple of days. Go follow the socials. We did a video on it. Go check that out if you want to get a link to all of that. We did give away two whitelist spots. You know, if you don't check these out, make sure you do check out our community feed because we give stuff away from there. We announce stuff from there. Um, we were announcing that, you know, anybody who joins the um, the, the Telegram group for our community private fund gets access to whitelist spots. So we gave away two random spots and they went to uh, Piet Roskam and also Quasli. It did actually go to Charles Bronze, but Bronze didn't respond for three days and I've checked his telegram and there's no response. So I had to give it away because we had to get those wallet addresses sent out today. So congratulations on those two people who will have a guaranteed allocation for the uh, the actual the, the IDO sale. So if you haven't seen the video and you don't really want to go check it out because you just want to see a little bit sneak peek of it and hot projects, then I will show you some gameplay right now. So we can see that I'm going in with this random creation that I've made with an eyeball and a giant laser beam. So, okay. Oh no, the eyeball is the laser beam. And that thing that I used was like, it pushed us forward really fast, the blue thing. So we absolutely destroyed him. And you can pick these different combination of chassis, which there are loads, you know, over a hundred there. We got over a hundred wheels, over a hundred weapons, but like, What's that? 19 different gadgets that have different abilities that you can add. So if we take a, a chassis, let's go for something really weird and out there. What is that? I want to. I want to go for this. <laughs> it's like a little banana. Um, let's go for a protected wheel front. That at the back. 
This is not going to be a great combination. I don't think. Ooh, what's this drill? We have the drill? Where does the drill go? Oh, the drill goes there. Nah, I don't like the drill. I don't think that. I don't think it's long enough. Sword. Have this thing that goes round and round. Nah, let's, let's pull out this gun. Looks like a little shotgun. And then gadgets, we're going to go for... Let's go for the toaster. I don't know what that does. <laughs> let's save that and go with this. The, the fun is, but it's, on one part, it's just going to be figure out what these do. Oh, okay, he's got a giant boxing glove. Oh, I mean, he's not built his robot very well. The stability is clearly, clearly lacking. <laughs> Absolutely screwed him. He didn't get one hit on us. We go against a, a better opponent with a bit more stability. This one looks a bit more balanced. And like it will last longer. What did the toaster do? Okay, just when you think they're more balanced, can anybody come up with a balanced vehicle? This one's got to be balanced. It looks top heavy. Yeah, oh, oh, they've got it. They've got the balance. But they haven't got the power. Look at us. With them. That gun's amazing. Yeah, so so many different variations that you can make out of these. This is why I think it's going to be so much fun. And PvP in this is going to be absolutely great. The game comes from an experienced team that developed plenty of mobile games already, had a lot of success. And if you go check the social media, you'll see that they're a team that are very open. You can even see their workplace and some of their work members at work. And that openness really is what you need to be able to increase confidence in a project. Now, going forward, the reason why we got into this is, is, is because we saw that potential of pace based on experience, based on what we already have to show now. We said, like, this is a game we're going to cover. So you, you'll be seeing a lot of content from us in future. Uh, full disclosure, we were given a private allocation. We wanted to get a private allocation that was for, you know, the community fund, but they, 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 would, they only had their community um, key opinion leader fund so it wasn't big enough for us to be able to um, you know create one for the community sadly this is the end I really would have liked to have done that for um, but yeah I would recommend getting in an IDO because you know you take a look at what Bomb Crypto did that did big things you know point one that was released at and then it launched at 4x which may seem simple at that point but you know look where it went it, you know at all time high we're talking 90x so maybe maybe we could see a similar thing if you pick it up for, for the same price are we going to see the same in this market so if you want to get involved in this go check out the three pads that they've been launching on you'll be able to see what their their terms are for getting on the whitelist and we'll have whitelist opportunities through gleam competitions go check those out if you're not you're probably gonna have to wait till you get it on the decks but even if you go on that if you think about what bond crypto did we got point one going to point four once it launched pick it up a point four, what point point um four You'd still see a 10x from where it has what where it is 20x from where it was when you picked it up from that. So plenty to be earned from this, I think, in the future if it does what I think it's going to do. Okay, next up we have Bomb Crypto. We covered this on the weekend because Adventure Mode in the Marketplace is coming on the 18th. If you are in this, make sure you don't miss out on getting involved in that. The reason why I want to cover it again is because on Twitter they posted to um, two YouTubers who had early access to it and shown us some examples of the gameplay. A little bit more detail than we saw in the trailer. So I'll put the link to these guys in down below. We'll be able to get the keys, but then we will be able to go into actual game modes where we'll have to defeat a series of enemies. So you can see if you've got something that is higher than a common, you're gonna be a lot better off because this guy's bombs, they reach fairly far. I think that's probably like a super rare and eliminating them whilst trying to get through these blocks if you have somebody who can move through those blocks it's going to be massively helpful for these levels as well and you know as you go on you're going to take down different levels so as we go on you can see this guy taking down the final level i believe this is and they will each of these bosses will have different ways in which they will fire out bombs this one's very much a firing straight line not too difficult to avoid, but requires you to pay attention. And if you don't have that block coverage, ooh, switches it up there with a, a three split. If you don't have that coverage in terms of being able to get through blocks, then it's going to be a lot more difficult. Movement speed will have, make a big difference as well. Um, but yeah, if you don't have the, that block moving through, moving through blocks, oh, they can run over bombs. 
Um, yeah, it's going to be really interesting. I'm really looking forward to playing this. And it'll be interesting to see. I know it's not the final boss. Uh, it'll be really interesting to see, A, how much money we actually get from this. Who's going in with it? It's Legend. And how what people will do in terms of selling off, um, both in the token and in the marketplace. So they obviously given probably an example account. I don't know if this is their actual account, um, whether they got given these. Probably not because they got 85 keys. And yes, yeah, so the token did come down. $4 it was out on Saturday and it's come down since then all the way to 3.3. Um, still not anywhere near its low all time low in the past month. Um, but yeah, early warning signs that people might be starting to sell off. I've just claimed some from my rewards that I've been gaining over the past couple of days. And the marketplace, you know, the fact that it dips, it probably is going to decrease the value of your heroes in the marketplace. So some people might think about that and think, okay, well, it's better for me money-wise to sell off. It'd be interesting to see what people are doing. Let me know down below, are you going to be holding or selling your heroes on the marketplace? And then finally, we go to Ekio, a game that we've covered before. And if you got in on this on the NFT sale, you will be holding some and be looking forward to put this on your, your calendar, the experimental cloning pod. So with this, you'll be able to clone uh, a guaranteed space warrior. You can see the cloning cost is 9,500 Ekio, so you're going to need to hold some. It's roughly around uh, $42 to buy that much Ekio to, to, to buy 9,500. So we're holding some to be able to do some of these clones. You'll get a 55% chance of a common, 35% chance of a rare, epic 5% and limited 5%. That's what I'm gonna be going for, trying to get something like that. So as we can see on the marketplace, we choose rarity, epic, and we go to card character and we say done. We can see that the lowest price for one of these NFTs, 150 BUSD. So if you pick one of these up, pick one of these up with a cloning pod, you're going to be able to sell it at three times the cost of that it took to be able to do the cloning. Um, I currently own a fair few heroes. We sent a lot out to people in the the big giveaway that we did, big flip giveaway live stream. I pretty much got rid of all my commons, I think, and we're left with. Let's go to all. Just be done. Well, my collection apparently is, is absolutely zero. We have zero. No, we have 45 cards. Um, so if we check out, now we can see that I've got one, two, three. Should have four. We have one common there. We have yes, yeah, so we've got three, three FX. Oh, we got a one rare there as well with Kamish. So we've got a lot of equipment attached to these guys as well, which make them ready for go. But yeah, it's an extra way to potentially, if you're into breeding and selling NFTs on a secondary market, this might be something that be you'd be interested in. A little extra way of making some extra money through selling NFTs. Next, let's take a little look at the markets and see what we're currently holding. Last week, as you saw, as we spent a lot on NFTs, we bought a lot of monkey ball NFTs. A lot of NFTs for Metheria, which I'm super hyped for. I'm glad I invested them. I spent a lot, but I think it's going to set me up nicely for when this game releases. Um, we have Crystal Kingdom's King, um, token with Shining Crystal Shard. Both these tokens are going to be paid out as rewards in their game, which is launched. We have a uh, video coming out on that, sponsored content. So make sure to watch out for that. But I think with this coming out in the next couple of days, the play to earn features will be coming out. And I know a few of you have bought the uh, crystal shards, which guarantees you some land. Look out uh, for the video on that because they do actually tell, tell us now what the lands will look like and they look really cool. Uh, so that's one that I see some opportunity, hence why buying a, a big bag of it. Because I think just when that play to earn token comes out, we could see some uh, play to earn feature comes out we could see some rise in that Kofi a token that we've we've covered before I sold this a while back uh, just because of necessity for to be able to get some uh, NFT as mentioned current value would have increased from when I sold it we picked some up I was actually meant to pick, pick some up the other day at 44 but then uh, it's out on it so we didn't we've got some Kofi we picked Qubit back up I'm going to pick up a thousand more in a bit I uh, might as well buy it now. Uh, I'm going to pick up some... I want 2,000 worth of this, really, just because I see a lot of potential in this long term. And these are, you know, we are in a dip, and it is, you know, the best time to buy and pick up some bargains. 
because when when the tokens start to see some rise when the markets become a bit more bullish which i think they're gonna come i reckon february really realistically but maybe we'll see it sooner uh you want to be holding some good tokens and qubit's one of them definitely triple a gain they're aiming for the, the alpha footage looks absolutely amazing that is going to be a third person shooter definitely go check it out if you haven't already um but that is one that i'm personally holding battle of guardians <laughs> we've just got given some of our private allocation this is not done uh, has not done well since their launch they actually the token we got it at private sale was 0.02 and it's at 0.035 but that actually kind of works pretty good for people who didn't get on the private sale or the ido i think ido price was 0.03 this game we covered i think last week and it's a fighting game it looks just like tekken and if you're into games like that i think they've got a lot more footage to come and a lot more progress to make this is going to be a good long-term hold i think uh the other token that i want to pick up i'm hoping it's around 93 if it's less this is good it's at 90 yes so this is the final token i wanted to pick up uh so we're gonna have to put in we don't have wait did i buy that qubit i didn't buy the qubit did i didn't go through um let's buy 850 of this but i see mara having a uh, an increase what am i trying to do I'm trying to buy a tether no but i don't want bnb i want myra Myra, Materia. Um, I, I still see a lot of potential in this. It's been at 3.3. It will eventually return to that. We have, after the chest sale, they've announced that alpha footage is going to be coming, alpha gameplay and alpha access. So I'm waiting for that news to drop. And I think people will buy the news because they'll see what a good game this is going to be. Uh, Myra is a game, obviously, we spent a lot of money on purchasing NFTs on Binance and uh so you can still pick these up on the nft marketplace so you can pick up either diamond or gold i've now transferred withdrawn all my nfts from here floor price 2749 latest price is 1849 though so that's probably more the the the, the price you want to wait for i think some of these will come down but as i say i've withdrawn all my packages now to metheria's website where they have staking going on at the moment and so you go to the gacha inventory now i have four diamond chests and i think five five um golds yeah that makes up nine and so we'll receive 28 dollars huge, huge huge amount um it's a little bit but it's a little something you might as well get it whilst i uh, could have held them on there and maybe sold them but i really don't want to sell anything when this ends by the way january 29th that's when we're going to be able to do our box openings i was going to do a box opening um but i thought i it might as well stake them there's nothing that we need to hold them for so uh, this is for me is a long-term hold i'm waiting for the game releases and i reckon it's gonna be absolute fire so then i think prices will go up i'm probably going to use two diamond packages to get into the game and play at a good level and then sell those ones that i bought for 1500 for hopefully 2x plus of what it's at so they're what we're holding at the moment um on our channel and i mean apart from that there are some really good opportunities things that we've been in that we're no longer in anymore age of tanks is absolutely tanked ironically speaking uh because this is 0.2 at one point i was at one two dollars i think um so that's it it's sad to see that but it might be a good good price to pick it up they have their alpha coming out very very soon i saw a twitter feed so that might be worth checking out uh skill have you ever heard of crypto i can't believe that's still i mean it's still pretty, pretty good at eight eight dollars 48 um but like other tokens there's nothing that's massively making me think i need to get in on this even though we are in a dip i think there's a lot of coins out there uh we may not be just given enough focus for attention but there's you know there's a lot of on, on other chains as well we talked about cedars we're still holding cedars on um on gate.io on solana we're holding ori and um we're holding soul chicks soul chicks has tanked recently but nitro in on polygon so there's loads of on other chains that we are invested in and 
we want to see some we still see some potential in um but yeah these 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 things will when the, the markets change when think about what nfts did in 2021 they brought a lot of riches to people we're talking games like bomb crypto crypto blades um axie and what's the other one that were absolutely skyrocketed Deaton. in terms of like doing over 50 x's these coins have changed massive they brought a lot of money in for people and there is going to be another one crabada that's the other one crabada did 150x from their launch 150x and there will be more out there there will be more that you can get in on and have that potential in 2022 i believe it and it's just about holding the right coins for me the strongest ones are project quantum with qubit we are Cedus. I see a lot of potential in that. I think um, a Meta Gear is going to be one of those real, like, just 8 bit with a quality team. I do think that has a lot to gain in 2022. Uh, Metheria, for me, is going to be big. Will Feet and make a comeback? I hope it does. I think it's worthy of it. The game's quality, I still play it every day. Um, but Feet and Gem has dipped to $4.44. Maybe we'll see a Binance listing. If we did, then we're going to see a huge skyrocket in price. Um, and it might be worth picking up some THG. Uh, I'm probably going to wait to get some assets in, um, some USDT, and then pick some up. Um, I need to buy some anyway to upgrade my characters. So I'm, I'm just waiting in this bear market. Bear markets are great for games like this because you want to just wait until the, you know, I haven't bought any for a while. You want to just wait until the price is at a very low and then you can purchase these things and then upgrade your characters for cheap and then when they skyrocket you know characters will also have more value if they're fully upgraded so yeah a lot to think about in this in this market um but that's what we're looking at let me know down below what what, what coins are you looking at what do you see is going to be big for 2022 and what do you do you think is actually going to be the next 100x for 2022 Okay, well that's all for today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you can keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon.